Whoa! Uh oh, ill omen. Twelve o'clock. Oh my goodness! What are you? Reaper tail. You're not alone. You're not alone. Allow me. Ski ski wind. Yes yes. Reaper tail ice. Large arthropods found in arid environments, feared as portents of ruin due to their vile appearance, namely their vicious tail and claws. Dealing enough damage with ice magic attacks will pressure them. Following up with fire damage will leave them open to attack. While pressured, they will become more susceptible to physical attacks. Oh no, I don't have a um, ice material on cloud right now. Okay, let's deal with the other crap first. I don't think I have a wind material either. That's really... Yeah, I brought back in the assess materia, so I don't have much room for actual elementals anymore. Oh, jeez. Okay, UV, you probably gotta. Maybe let's tap into the wind first. Nice and quick. Two in a row. Let's deal with it first. And I'm sitting on ATB here. I shouldn't be. But that guy, what's that guy doing? Nothing. Oh god. Pressure. Oh, Cloud, you didn't get any ATP while I was doing all that? Let's do this. Because you can do fire now. I think that's how that works, right? Yes! That's an interesting combination, because it actually doesn't say that it's weak against fire. But assessing it, you know that ice plus fire is how this is supposed to work. You're done. Okay. Here I come. Keep it up. Playtime's over. And then you... Do you have any 2 ADB abilities? Pray. <laughs> okay, you know what? That's that's fine. The Art of War doesn't actually have a element, does it? Ow, 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 ow. Fox Frost. Ready? Kate Sith and Yuffie. Nice. Halcyon Descent. I don't think we've done that before either. Maelstrom Strike. Cloud, look. Oh. Photographing celestial phenomena. Using the phenomena reports as a reference, try to recreate the planetologist's photographs with at least 80% accuracy. Though Caesar will accept any picture you offer because he's a he's a doormat. View the reports and then have the right vantage point. Oh, the picture. Right. This is not the right. First of all, which place is it? I think it's this one. Yeah, it should be like over here, and then there's a little bit of. A little bit of rock on the side. He wants to see that rock. Oh, it actually tells you right here how good the accuracy is. No. Only 11%, really? Oh, we gotta see more of the, the stuff around. What? Huh. I mean, I, I want to get 80% if I can, but it looks like it's not going to be that easy. Probably the spot I'm standing on is not the best. Get like 40%, it's pretty much the max of what I can get here. Oh, Aerith is praying. I hadn't realized. Maybe the spot where you're praying at would be better? Whoa, look at- check out these- These things in front of us, my god. Some ancient stuff going on here. Uh, oh! Oh, 
know, we were looking at a different thing, that's why. Ah, where Aerith is standing is probably a good spot. Nice. This is perfect. Yeah. Well, well. Maybe you ought to add photographer to your resume. <laughs> let's look for other spots. Yeah, let's. Oh my gosh, I've been trying to figure out... Okay. Okay, I've had to look this up because I, I couldn't figure out how to get here at all. I think I'm getting close now. Well, to get here, it looks like I should be getting to the tower first, that entire upper platform. And I, I, I sort of walked around here. I did the excavation intel, nothing interesting happened. There was a boat there, maybe I'll show you later. But then I had to walk all the way up on this path here. And where I am right now, I think I'm getting close to reaching it, but it's basically just been like walking across these gliding ranges. And <sighs> basically what I'm trying to say is to get to where we want to be, it's not very intuitive because it's not the same as, okay, I see this thing is in the north. I will head to the north. No. <laughs> what do you want from me? What you gotta do is go all the way around to an entirely different place so that you sort of get to the right place by wrapping all the way around again, if that makes sense. I feel like the Gangaga mushrooms were already kinda... This one... They, they're outdoing themselves. Luster Cave, Life Spring? Sure. You better give me some good planetology intel. Okay, every time I say planetology, I think of another tology. Hi. <laughs> <sighs> Life in Cosmo Canyon. Mm -hmm. The founders of the canyon's eponymous village made use of the naturally formed caves, and following the emergence of planetology, more and more people found themselves drawn to the place. The makeshift walkways and tent-like domiciles have only increased in number as the settlement continues to expand to this day. Rather than rely on Mako, the villagers built an array of windmills, and each home is equipped to store the generated electricity. A leading planetologist, Bugenhagen, introduced this form of wind power to Cosmo Canyon, and it is said his technical marvel was inspired by the ways of the Cetra. When it comes to nutrition, the villagers' diet consists mainly of grain and legumes grown around the village, supplemented by game meat obtained with traditional hunting methods. Well, they're very lucky here that in the canyon they have wind, but that's just not... that's not a thing that we can do everywhere. Maybe in some ways, the attitudes of the people that live in a region. Yeah, they get to be all... all haughty and whatever about not using Mako, but it's because the region that they live in was helping them a lot to begin with, whereas other places that don't have any natural resources, they have no choice but to just rely on the Mako. Are we finally getting over there? Please. I, I really... Oh no. Am I reaching anywhere? Oh no. I I okay, well, here was the boat where the excavation intel was. No. I. There must have been a wind. Oh, maybe I was supposed to jump over here? No, that's. You could have gone there without. without having done that. There's no wind thingy. Yeah, that one over there, that's not the right one because you could just get onto that one normally without having to go off a gliding range. Is there more? Oh, this is, this is a real trek. Yes. Yes. I guess a bus stop here would be useful. <laughs> Except this guy's leading me like 20 miles away. Do you grow up and look turquoise afterwards? Or are you like an entirely different kind of chocobo? 
Okay, we got, we got a thing here. That's good. But that doesn't solve my main problem. Come on, there's gotta be a thingy here. Oh, God! Do you mind if I just... Here? Is it this one? What I'm saying is, it better damn well be this one. Oh, okay, this looks promising. All this just to get to an intel tower, seriously? Because of the amount and quantity of, you know, the amount of stuff here, I think it would be better if they made it less steps, you know? It's just, it's not necessary. We're just trying to look for a tower here. You don't have to go this hard. Is it above there or is there a way for us to... Hold up. Oh, okay, I see. And this wasn't even my original goal. I wanted to get here because I needed to get to the second celestial phenomena. That's all. It looks like there's a sanctuary around here somewhere too. You can sort of look around. Yeah, there's a sanctuary. There's a thing. This tower is built so close to the next one. It actually doesn't really make much sense. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, little things like, you know, how that little pop-up makes you stand there, you can't move during the pop-up. <laughs> it's just like all these little things left and right. Anyway. This is new. Should I be touching? Wait, it's right here, isn't it? The intel? No? According to one of the canyon's legends, Bahamut once took shelter somewhere in these lands after being severely wounded in a fierce battle. Its scarlet hue is said to represent the divine protection the Earth bestowed upon it during the entity's long convalescence. Oh. Bahamut arisen. So the usual Bahamuts that we see are just not even awake. Okay. Do 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 do. I honestly, I mean, I mean, I've been doing this. I said that I really wanted to focus on the ones that were story related, but this one I feel like we don't even get that many chances to summon stuff to begin with, and then getting all of their skills. Well, I hope we see more of their skills. That was perfect. Thanks to your hard work. I've obtained invaluable divine intel. You're welcome. Okay, so that was that. We can probably just go straight back to the tower here. And then what? Oh, whoops. Probably not like that. Yeah, we're back to the ruins here, and then... Hmm. <laughs> Someone wants to lead me to the life spring already. Oh, I guess it is pretty obvious, huh? Look at all these trees and the vines. Plateau ruins. Thank you very much. Will you give me the next little bit, or do you want to make me wait? Cloud! Upon analyzing 
analyzing the data from the life spring, I was able to locate a new transmuter chip. It's buried in some nearby mountain ruins. Currently, a survey of these ruins is in progress, but we suspect they were built by the ancients or others like them. Hmm. Perhaps you could conduct an investigation of your own while looking for the transmuter chip. Maybe. Yeah, I gotta get back to the phenomenon too, but I was thinking we would do the celestial... Oh. It's right here? Well, if it's right here, I guess we should do it. Yeah, I was wanting to... Wait, have chocobo wait? What the hell does that mean? I just wanted to do all the same... the steps in the side quest at the same time. That's all. There we go. Draconic ring. Now we can make a planet's mercy. Oh, come on. Let me see what that's about. It's probably over on the other side. Mmm, see, it's not good that we just do it here. We have to go somewhere where we can actually act on that scent. I really feel like this thing should go through walls. Is it here? Okay, please. Thank you. Enhanced Road Warrior Bangle. I haven't looked at it yet. Yeah, this isn't even the first excavation until I did. So we have plenty to look at once we finish this one up. There we go. Didn't seem like these ruins were particularly... Ancient-y, though. They just seem like regular ruins. Unless if you wanted me to look at something else specifically, Chadley. See, I, this part. This part. I can't move during that part. I really want to move during that part. Hmm, hi, Ether. I can make a remedy. Planet's Mercy. Do some of these supplies. Hi, Ether. Cosmotite Ore. Oh. Then we might not be able to make the rest of these then. Okay, Commander's Bracer. This is better than what Kate Sith has. Enhanced Road Warrior Bangle. Enhanced Commander's Bracer. Oh, this is the one that we just made, right? Yeah, Commander's Bracer. Enhanced Snail Shell Bracelet. Good. Go. Good. Okay. Keatsith. Before I forget. Gotta take it. Hurry. Now. Okay, there you go. <laughs> yeah, maybe you should get some more... Good materia. Materia that actually does something. You... But maybe I just need to buy more materia, you know? More of the green kind. Petri- <laughs> Petrify is barely really helpful, but hey, there you go. So we wanna... I just need to get to the Phenomenon. Okay. <laughs> all right. Bring all the monsters. Rare Golem variant detected. Commencing Guidance Protocol. Strictly speaking, golems are not living creatures. They're soulless clay dolls, animated only by the life stream. Oh, it is really? Thought that the ancients created them long ago with their unique technology. Though it remains unclear why they would have left their constructs in a place like this, we may never know the answer. After the disappearance of their masters, the golems fell into disrepair. Corrupted by impurities flowing through the life stream, they grew violent. Please put an end to their destructive rampage for the sake of the locals, if nothing else. Wait, the life stream itself is considered corrupted and impure now? I don't think I knew that. Currently gathering combat Ooh, what? Elder Golem. And mine makes it sound like golems. I mean, I don't think the ancients 
put them here. It's more like the ancients all died off and then they just didn't know what to do, right? My guess. Autonomous dolls made of rare ore that abide in arid environments. Created by the Setra long ago and imbued with impressive defensive capabilities, they can detonate the earth and rocks around them. They lose energy every time they attack or take damage and become pressure once their energy is exhausted. So... hit them. Yeah? Is that what you're Don't saying? Don't overdo it. You mind? I'm your one-stop quadrant shop. How you like that? Weather this! This guy's strong enough that he can probably just take my hits. Although, the pressure gauge is not going up at all. You can do a windstorm. Oh! Okay, the pressuring part might need a little bit of work. They just need to attack or take damage. So I don't need to do anything special, right? I got this. Theoretically. I don't think I have a win thing. Yeah, maybe I'll just heal up everybody. Take the lead. Kate Sith? Okay, you can heal. You can heal. Who are you healing? Heal yourself. You will regret heal up while you can. I'm not trying to escape. I'm just seeing that this isn't. Oh, I think it's a really bad idea that I didn't bring a wind out materia here. Maybe I need to restart. Should I try to maybe just do focus thrust? Oh god. Poor cloud. Oh, we really aren't getting anything happening here. Yeah, we're just. They lose energy every time they attack or take damage, and become pressured once their energy is, is exhausted. They don't look as glowy as when the fight started, I guess. But we're at this rate, we're gonna kill them before they even exhaust their energy. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Something's happening. There we go. All right, it was just a matter of time. It's the kind of one where the pressuring and the staggering happens late, but then once you get it, it's done. It was all right. Now for the real reason why I came here, finally, <laughs> the phenomenon. Oh no, it's like above us. It's not. Okay, let me let me get. I have to get close to these gliding ranges so I can get the the little fast travel point. Yeah. And of course, it's it's different. All three are a little bit different here. Mm-hmm. But how do I get above this area then? There's the stairs. We close enough? Yeah. Here we go, and then now. Not a thing. Oh. Except for this guy, then he doesn't look happy. No, he doesn't. Let's go back to Aerith and Tifa for a little bit. Why don't we? Let's don't need do to this. Work. First of all, get rid of the little other dudes. <sighs> Going in. That's that. Okay, I don't think we need to assess again, right? Reaper tail. Oh. I need to put back the ice in here, I think. Maybe that'll help. It's on you. Here goes. Wait, you why do you have some sort of a it has some sort of a protect thing on it? What? You know what, one of these days, I really just want to try summoning everything we have at least once. So even if it's a stupid battle, maybe I want to do the summon. Grant us your strength. Just a little bit more, guys. This one's for you! Oh no, it's coming, it's coming. 
We need to stop it. It's your turn. All set. <laughs> oh. Come on. just taking it. <laughs> You're gonna feel this one. Gotcha. <laughs> there. Hey, 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 hey. Look over here. Look over here. Watch yourself. Fight through it. Cool off. Oh, I'm like, okay. What do you got, Cloud? Phoenix, we've seen that one. You need to. We need to <laughs> maybe use a cushion somewhere, probably. <laughs> But is that my style? No! Here it comes. No. Hoard absolutely everything. Oh no! Okay, now I'm mad. Sorry, but I gotta. Here it comes! Keep up the pressure, okay? Gotcha! Maybe a star shower would have been better there. Let's pour on the pain. My turn. Again, the girl saving the day. Don't catch a cold. Oh, there it is. Hurry, Cloud. Get the camera. Oh. Aerith, stand in the right spot so I know where we need to be. We can sort of keep the healing up, but Cloud has no MP. Am I gonna use an ether? No. <laughs> no. Is it good? Oh! <laughs> oh! Well, that was a bit of a surprise. <laughs> this isn't really a candid shot anymore. She's looking right at me. <laughs> oh, she's gonna pray now. <laughs> Am I being creepy? This is not the celestial <laughs> phenomena. Well, it's a different kind of celestial phenomena, I guess. Get a nice zoomed-in one. Alright, I think that's enough pictures of Aerith for now. <laughs> <laughs> what about this thing? Hey, you gotta stand in the right spot so I know. Oh, uh... Do the rest of you want pictures? They're standing back like they're afraid of third wheeling. I didn't even look at the actual picture because I was hoping standing next to Aerith would be good enough, but maybe not. <laughs> it's the second one, right? This one? We need to... Maybe stand a little bit to... The side here? Something like that. Zero? Well, the mountains do look a little bit different, like... Zero? Really? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, because I wasn't centering it right. I see. Damn. That's really good. This is spot on, Cloud. Thanks. Okay, two down. Moogle. Just one more left. Let's go. Give him hell, okay? Finish it. I'll help. Ooh. Okay. Why is it always a Reaper tail? <laughs> Whoa. I know you snuck a shot of me earlier. <laughs> yeah, everyone kind of saw. Sneaky about it. Is that so? <laughs> hey, let's get a selfie together, okay? Oh. Come here. <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> That's cute. Wait, I want to see those pictures. We got to look in the inventory later. Aerith. Hmm? Uh, nothing. Let's take the photo and go. Sure. Sounds good. Hmm. What did you want to say, Cloud? 
By the way, for the record, between Tifa and Cloud versus Tifa and Aerith, in terms of how much I like it, I don't really have a leg in the race. I feel like people think I like Cloud and Tifa more, but I I like both equally, I think, but it's just that I feel, from what, what's been presented to me so far, I feel like the game itself is pushing Tifa and Cloud a bit more. But in terms of liking it, I, I can do either. I don't really care. Uh, I just want to see the... Would it be like a key item? Where are the damn pictures around here, man? Oh, here we go. Photo of Aerith praying. That is not the photo I took. Aerith smiling. That is maybe the photo I took? Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Don't invite Barrett. Don't invite Kate Sith, Yuffie, Tifa. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, this is so long ago now, but we had that other photo with Tifa before. Yeah. Except Cloud was all like, yeah. <laughs> Can we? Oh, we can't see like a close up. That's too bad. All right. Ah, uh, this spot might be a little bit too... Oh. We got a... that's pretty good. Wow! It looks exactly like the photo they gave us! Guess we gotta get these back to Caesar, huh? Mm-hmm. Might be a good time for me to get some healing in, too. Alright, so that's one green quest. The other one that we had was the, hey, look at that photo and try to go to that spot. Which I kind of want to do before we go back, so that we can hand in both of them at the same time. I'm pretty sure it was around here somewhere. Oh, I feel like we saw another one of these gates earlier. Wait, there's a gate? How are we supposed to get past it? Or is there another entrance? Oh, oh, oh. Ah, forgive me! You'll need a key! It slipped my mind. What are you doing here? You're supposed to be at home! Well, there's no need to make such a fuss. I simply wish to see this with my own eyes. This is the one where we're surveying the new life spring. Oh no, this is the dried up one. It would appear this spring has all but withered. You have the Mako meter. Yeah. Five, eight, not looking good. This thing isn't picking up much. Hmm, I see. But it's still too soon to draw any conclusions. Let's try another location, shall we? We may yet get encouraging results. Go on ahead. I will catch up to you when I am ready. That means you could have just done all this by yourself, but you're choosing to just let me do it first. For some unknown reason. The follow life spring flickers with a dim light, as if frightened. It doesn't even look life springy anymore. The second and third spot. I don't even know where that is. Like, I I'm looking at this right now, I have no idea. The landform seems pretty unique. I wish I could see the, the note on the same screen here. Is it like somewhere around here? Oh, I gotta do snap sometime too. Maybe after this. The civilization. Oh, but this is like an ancient map, right? Oh, the civilization is probably the ruins that we were excavating earlier. Hmm. So, it would... Yeah, it's close to here, I think. Oh? There's a barricade? What are we trying to do? Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Oh no! Where did all these monsters come from? Doesn't matter. We gotta protect the spring! 
Protecting, protecting. Don't worry. Time to get serious. You're done. Bring it. This one's for you. Woo. Good enough? That was excellent work. You're here again. Well, this doesn't look good. Ten? No. Four hundred? The meter's going crazy. What's a GZ anyway? How do you even read this? GZ stands for Geisel, his first name. Bugenhagen was the first person to discover that the life stream emits energy we can measure. Oh, wow. <laughs> but that's not worth mention. More importantly, our work remains unfinished. We'd best get on with it while we still have the light. Maybe this guy's even more knowledgeable than I give him credit for. He has seen a lot already, being his age. This one doesn't even emit any flicker of light. Oh no, there it is. And then I think the last one... Yeah, examine this please. It's up there somewhere, like... I'm pretty sure I saw it earlier. Maybe it's right here. Oh lord, it's the same situation here. Oh no! Where did all these monsters come from? Hurry! We gotta protect the spring! What do you think I'm doing right now, buddy? Just triple slash. It together. I'm coming. Hope it helps. By the time we One set up Aerith, <laughs> they would have destroyed the damn thing already. You've got this. I got it. Gotcha. Keep it up. Yeah. It's probably too much. Enough. Heads up. Now. You're mine. That's that. Bring it. Oh, more? Brace yourself. Sloppy. Now. Thank you. It's safe to come down now. Oh, splendid job, Nanaki. No thanks to you. Is he ever gonna explain why he has antennas on top of his head? And why he's floating around on an orb? Hmm. It seems all but spent. Or perhaps it is on the verge of Oh, it's just an accessory. <laughs> Wait, is it just me, or does that sound like a weapon? Ah, yes. If that were the case, then maybe... Right, yes. We have not a moment to lose. We must continue our work. This is the site to which I would have you attend next. Good luck to you all, and safe travels. There's a fourth one. I don't even know where that is. Okay, a bunch of ruins, and then... Huh. It's way closer than I thought. Whoa, hold on! Something isn't right here. Be careful. We can't afford to hold back. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Bam! <laughs> it's kind of silly how Cloud just goes BAM whenever he uses that materia. That's it. Going in. This is actually in the center of Cosmo Canyon. I'll show you on the map once we're done here. I'll take care of this. Other one ice. Feeling chilly? Someone looks kind of shaky. Whoa, other one trying to get me? Gotta go for it now. It's your turn. Oh, let's go. I'll put down oh no! Wait, that's a thing? Did you see what happened there just now? 
Aerith cast the Blizzara, and then we moved it away from the Blizzara, and it didn't get hit. Did you see that? That was terrible. So that's the thing we gotta be a little bit careful about, I guess. Wait, there's something... Oh, whoa. Whoa! Whispers? Oh, we have been graced by curious guests. Hey, I was wondering, do you believe in fate? That something out there controls our future? Oh, ho, ho. fate is a salve we use to soothe the sting of disappointment. We are the masters of our lives, Nanaki. Really? Would you not agree, Cloud? Yeah, sure. I hope so. We have been able to fend off the whispers and all that so far. Why do these whispers have eyes now? Eyes, mouths? My, my. Over 7,000! <laughs> this is an unprecedented level of activity. It's over 9,000! Just proof that the flow of the life stream has shifted in some manner or another. The question is, was this shift natural, or was it the product of an external force? What is that, Materia? A question for another time. One location remains. Was that a Materia? Inside the whisper. Hmm. A frightened life spring. Yeah, this was actually just right in the center of the place here. Analyze life spring. <laughs> I just realized Kate Sith has a little gray cat icon for the affinity, huh? Oh, this one, hold on. Moogle, there's a mock stool there. I haven't been to the mock stool yet, but I know where that is. It should be. Yeah, the mock stool is here. So it's. Uh, I'm, I swear I saw a. I can't go here, right? I don't want to go here anyway. I want to go maybe here? Oh, here it is! Yeah, we came across this earlier when we were looking for the, the way to get to the activation tower. Weird. Hmm. It appears that this site has gone fallow. Oh, that doesn't look good. It looks like a bigger site than usual, too. The Marco meter, if you would. Oh, my word! You want to fight? We'll handle these guys. Get back. What the hell is that? <laughs> Red spinner chimera. <laughs> yeah, we gotta gotta get this. Too bad. A subspecies of insectoid chimera that adapted to live in arid environments. They employ various bug-like methods to trap their prey, from dazing them with butterfly dust to ensnaring them in spider silk. Need a breather. So it's my turn. I won't give up. Hang in there, Cloud. I got this. After you. I'll take care of them. Just maybe heal up everybody a little bit first. We're not exactly doing that great. Whatever. Here it comes. Hey, chill, Stop chill. Uh, uh, Don't let the dudes attack me, guys. Me. You gotta protect me. Protect me. I got Wait, this. are you attacking? Oh my god, it's holding down Aerith. How dare you? Oh. Oh, I think I've been. Oh! <gasps> Whoa! Oh no! Phoenix draft. Gotta be careful. 
It's okay. I'll do better. To the limit and beyond. Get him. <laughs> It's not, we shouldn't be doing unbridled strength and all that. We need to make sure they're all gone first. Watch yourself. Cool. All the times. You're done. Okay. Just kill it. Hey. Let's switch it up. Come on. You can do it. This we'll guy's almost quick. done. This one's for you. Oi, vicious webbing. Can we get this guy quickly? Maybe let's heal up again. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Perhaps I am getting too old for this. <sighs> My point exactly. I learned far more than I anticipated today. Though I harbored doubts, I now concede that you were right. Something is happening to the planet. Many questions remain, but I can share with you some answers. What's wrong with the life springs? Life springs are founts of Marco, whose locations are dictated by the life stream's ever-changing flow. Yet in all my years, never have I seen a once thriving spring wither in so short a time. While still just a theory, Given all I have witnessed, I believe the planet is changing on an unprecedented scale. Proof that whatever Shinra's been doing is rapidly ruining the planet? Just Shinra? Find that kind of hard to believe, too. What are the weapons? Ah, the weapons. I first learned of them from amusing fables and Cetran tomes. Quite frankly, I did not believe they existed. I thought them merely allegorical. Thus did I dismiss the tales of your encounters with these incredible creatures. No, that's not it. In truth, I was terrified. Weapons are born into existence when the planet is in crisis. When the survival of all creation is at stake. I hope you will forgive me my discourteousness. You came to me in good faith, and I turned you away. But we must face our fears. Only then can we hope to overcome them. And so I face mine. The weapons have come, and they portend a grim future for us all. I feel like up until now, no one still Still, no one's really answered me. What do the weapons coming here really mean, though? Yes, it's a bad omen. Yes, it's a sign the planet's dying. But is the weapon going to destroy the planet directly? Or is it just a symbol? It's just like hanging out here, being like, Hey, the planet's dying. Do something. They must be pretty strong. They seem really strong, and they're called weapons. For a reason. Presumably. What was with that life spring just now? A malevolent energy descended upon that life spring. Never in all my years of planetological research have I ever seen such a disturbing phenomenon. You, however, appeared unfazed by what you witnessed. Yeah. <laughs> you needn't explain, Nanaki. Indeed, it may be best that you do not. The experiences of others may skew our own perception of the truth. For the time being, quiet observation is key to unraveling this mystery. Hmm. In the grand scheme of both the planet and the life stream, the lives of us mortals and the sublunary parts we play are undeniably inconsequential. Of course. For our world is the accumulation of trillions of souls, an assemblage of all life that ever was and will ever be. But that is far too reductive a way to view the cycle which sustains us. We are, after all, a part of the planet. And the planet is a part of us, too. We mustn't forget that even the smallest of ripples can gather the strength to become the greatest of waves. It is thus incumbent upon us to do all we can in the time we are allotted, to not die a ripple. I endeavor to do just that, 
I will continue to work to uncover the planet's secrets. And if I find anything, I will let you know. All right, just try not to overdo it. For me? <laughs> oh! Now, who could this be? A phone. Why, it's from a watchman in town. How odd. Oh, what did you say? Is something wrong? I fear there is. The survey team has returned with reports of sightings of key spirits within the veil. But they were sealed within the cave. Indeed they were. I can attest to that. So how did they get out? Well, these are spirits, Nanaki. Who knows what they can or cannot do? Though I know this is sudden, will you lend us your raid? <laughs> right now? Go and speak to the watchman at the gate. I will return to the Vale on my own. Ooh. Oh! Do we have a full relationship with Red? Seems like it. Yeah, his little... His little thing is pulsing. Yeah, our thing with Kate Sith. I guess Kate Sith, he's just hanging along. It's not a relationship kind of thing. Hmm. Don't die a ripple, huh? Something like that, I suppose. Now we could go right back to the Watchmen at the gate. Hold on, though. The Mog stool's right here, so I kind of just want to do it. How would I get there? Yeah, I mean, I'd probably just walk around out here. Uh, it's probably gonna be a pain in the butt, but... I've come too far. I need to know more of the... the Moogle origin lore. <laughs> Which is really that guy just saying, like, three lines to me about... about the, the Moogle founder and all that. <laughs> Wait, this is... this way? Here we go. Will you visit to the Moogle house, maybe? Eh. Time to get mad at Moogles again. Oh. <laughs> Easy, please. I don't want to deal with this crap. Wait, is that because I did too poorly last time? Or is that just a new thing they introduced here because they already predict that people are going to hate this? <laughs> please bring back all the Mooglets for me, Koopo. Okay, I'm going to get Moolala immediately first because you're... Annoying. You know, it's the same... It's the same map every time, isn't it? Oh, is that the thing for us to... Right! There was this whole mechanic about how we can... We can, like... Take them? Oh god, oh god, it's gonna wrestle out! Ah! Ah! Get out! Get in! Wow, seriously! And I can't- I can't jump across that. It's crazy. So slow. Could you not? <laughs> wow! Get him right now. Get him! This does help, but we still have to not- Oh, oh come on, just- just go there. Don't- don't hit me, don't hit me! Thank you. Okay, giving me some tools to uh, help me Over out this time. Here. I can carry all of you if you want. Or not. Fine, be that way. Okay. Oh, no, no, no! Mookie, just go straight in. Thank you. You're the best, I love you. Mosh! Uh, come on. Get in the mosh pit, shaka bra. <gasps> That's my third hit. Okay, that guy is is slowly coming back here, but the moment I get over there, it's gonna change directions again. So I gotta go this way. Are you serious? Whoa, those explo those bombs even work in the water. Just go. 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 Go.
go. Thank you. Okay. Thanks so much, Koopa. First try this time. Thank you. I appreciate it. Would have died if not for the easy mode. This emporium is officially open, and it's all thanks to you. There's only one more left to go. <gasps> We've come so far, <laughs> Koopa. I hope that you'll see it through. Why are your kids just like this? Can you tr teach them better? Why are they s Ugh. These are the kids that everybody hates, okay? Thanks for coming to our Moogle Emporium! I hope you know this. Your kids are the kids that everybody hates because they don't behave. Fire Materia Earrings. Empowerment. Use Materia Earrings. Hmm, huh, don't really need it. But at the same time, I have so many Moogle medals that I could probably just buy some because... Why not? Level boost. What are these for? Is it just for selling money? Selling for money? Oh, this grants access to the highest level of fire materia. Okay, sure. I thought it only gave the basic fire. HP up materia. Wouldn't be bad. 30%. Okay. Thanks, I guess. Did you find anything you like, Kubo? No. Get out of my face. You're on my blacklist <laughs> of stuff to never get involved with ever again. <laughs>